Well, good morning. Here we are. Uh, as you can see out the door there. We have wind coming in. It's a nice sunny day. <laughs> and guess where I am? Well, I think you can tell. <laughs> Look at this. Lying in my pit. Doing a lot of reading. One of the reasons that we're here today, really, is uh, because of an idea that Blondie Hustler had. So, uh, here we are. The continuation of his idea. By, uh, by Ewan. And... Obviously, this is what it's all about. I'm feeling a lot better today. Uh, last night was a good night's sleep. And still enjoying a bit of peace, obviously. Weather like this, it's a change. This is the first time it's been like this, really. Yes, I could be outside, but you know what? I'm still just enjoying not doing anything. I spent about an hour on deck this morning, uh, 8 o'clock, just getting things ready for downwind sailing. It had sailed the wrong way for a couple of hours whilst I was asleep. And I, I hate losing those two hours, but you can't be awake all the time. Beard's coming along now. So, uh, Guy, I bet you've got a great beard going there, mate. And I really do hope you get to uh, to see uh, the Azor. The Azor. The Azor. The Azor. It's going to be great fun. Um, I'm just hoping you're going to get there. Small boat. The chances are there's a possibility that you might actually be there before me. And I know you've said to me about um, the fact that this is a bigger boat. Guy's boat. <laughs> but um, I just wonder that light wind performance might be uh, enough to get you there. It's going to be interesting. On the other hand, uh, the beginning of the uh, challenge was quite heavy in that force eight and subsequent four sevens that I was seeing a lot of the time and quite a few four sixes all on the nose so windward ability was was quite uh, necessary on those particular occasions I slowed down quite a bit I'm not sure if that was a good thing or not I, I came up to windward quite a long way so I was, I was sailing along at three three and a half knots a lot of the time. Uh, whether that was a good thing, or well, who knows, but there we are. Well, there's all my windsurfing kit. Well, not all of it, but uh, the stuff that I can get on board. Uh, front cabin, obviously, is a bit of a mess too. But then I haven't been up there at all. I've just been using this little bunk here, which is, has been working really well for me. Um, I kind of like it. It's a bit slovenly, but... Uh, Lee boards down through there so they hold me in although one night I didn't get tipped out the whole lot came boom on the floor boat would come round uh, oh yeah uh. I'm guessing now it's about 10 o'clock in the morning I might just make my second ever uh, on this trip cup of coffee I made one last night um, I'm not feeling too bad now. I've still got about four days to go. It's a hell of a long way. It really is. Uh, downwind, not the fastest, but I think I'm travelling on about five knots. But such a long way. When you look at things and, and then work out, you've still got four days of this to go. Another four days. Four days and 19 hours. Almost five, five days, really. It's a long way. And that takes a lot of um, getting used to in your head. The thought that you are so far from anywhere. Lots of other things have been going through, obviously, you know, problems with the boat and obviously no rescue out here. You're, you're finished, basically, if, you, if it all goes wrong. But, you know, hey, positive mental attitude and dealing with situations, training and so forth. And a lot of that. So, uh, I'll rush these teeth, I think. Uh, and I might even change my shirt. Okay, that's all, and I uh, hope you're all doing well.